Hey y'all, so I'm outside working today with Sweet Hunter and I'm gonna try a DIY uh, weed killer. I don't know if it will work or not. Most of the homemade stuff honestly doesn't pan out, but I'm gonna try it today and I'm gonna see, and I'm gonna let y'all see the results. So I found this on the internet. I can't remember where I have saw it on several people's sites and just wrote and just scribbled it down. But it's uh, one cup of vinegar, I'm sorry, one gallon of vinegar, one cup of salt, and um, a fourth cup of uh, dishwashing liquid. Um, I'm using Dawn. Some of them said Dawn, some of them didn't. But you know, Dawn is the thing that they say works everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this gallon. I think it's a gallon. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Yep, it's a gallon. So, uh, Sweet Hunter gave me this clean bucket. I'm gonna do it in there first. So I'm gonna pour just, some people say to use the 30%, but this is all I had, so I'm gonna try it. And a lot of people say this is what to use. I don't know. So I'm gonna pour most of my vinegar in here. And this is just the vinegar I can with. So it's that 5%, I think. But what I'm gonna do is, yep, that's a gallon. I'm gonna pour some in a glass measuring cup to dissolve my salt in and I'm going to heat up my vinegar so that I think that'll be enough. Because I want to get this salt dissolved. That just doesn't make sense to me just to stir it up and, you know, let it be in there. And I'm just going to pour it in here and then I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to warm this up in the dishwasher. In the dishwasher. I'm going to warm this up in the microwave. <laughs> Come on. The lights are off in here. So to me, something like this is, we're talking on Facebook, on um, social media, about getting ready, getting prepared for things. Y'all remember when you couldn't get tissue? We couldn't get cleaning supplies either. <clears throat> I'm gonna warm this up just like a minute and then I'm gonna start with a wooden spoon. Now I use kosher salt because that's what I had. So, uh, but, but while we're talking about this, we're, we're on social media and here on YouTube, I want to talk more about being prepared and being prepared for everything. Now in uh, 2020 and 2021, y'all like my new hat? Uh, <clears throat> Sweet Hunter bought it for me. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't prepared and I thought I was. Thankfully, I did have toilet paper. But that's just because I was, I stocked up on things, not because I knew something was coming, but because we're a big family. And so I bought it on sale all the time. But things like this, let's make sure it's not doing anything. Things like this, we also need to be prepared with. And I'm gonna see if it works. I don't know if it does or not. I love to use baking soda and uh, vinegar for cleaning. That's getting warm. I'm gonna do it another minute. <clears throat> but I mean, it's just something to think about. It's just something that we need to be prepared for. And if you don't know that things are gonna happen uh, in our world, you, I, I say it all the time, you got your head in the sand. I don't believe everything the news says, but I do know enough to know that, uh, like I said on social media, um, everybody thought Noah was crazy when he said it was going to rain to get ready, get prepared, and he built an ark. I'm sure people laughed at him and scoffed and and thought he was crazy, but I mean, look what happened. Mm, it rained. You know, if you watch anything, and one of my favorite things to watch is people on YouTube, real people, not the news, but the real people that research and study and, and see what all's going on. That's the people I like to watch. And it is dissolving really, really good. <clears throat> so, I'm using kosher, don't know if that'll work. I did this for two minutes in the microwave. You can warm it on your grill, you can warm the vinegar up and then add the salt, however you want to do it. Nobody said how to do it, I'm just doing it my way. 
I don't think Sweet Honey really thinks this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So let's go back outside. Did the recipe say to heat it up? No, it did not. So if you don't wanna heat it up, don't heat it up. This is just Valology here. So but I'm gonna let you know if this works or not. So I'm sure some of you are thinking to yourself, why to go to all this trouble? Well, here's the deal. Sweet Hunter for years and years and years has used a brand that a weed killer that they say causes cancer. And I've had cancer and I don't want anybody to have it. And so I'm just trying this to see if it's gonna work. And we also paid a lot of money to get our landscaping done with the big river rock. And there's already weeds coming up. So that's why I want to try this. And I'm gonna try it along with doing a lot of other things today. And you might say, so how is this preparing? Well, this is preparing by looking well to the ways of your household, which is what the Bible tells us to do. And we as women should try to do more. So I'm just gonna try to mix this up some, a little bit more. And I'm gonna pour it in this gallon. Now this gallon is cold. And I'm just gonna stir this up. Now, if you notice, I'm not doing the soap yet. If I added the soap, this is just my thinking. If I added the soap right now, I would think that it would suds up, which is gonna suds up in here anyway. So this is a, oh, that's just a one gallon pump. I thought he gave me a three gallon pump. All right, I think I'm gonna put half of this in here. Yeah, maybe not. All right, I did. I used. I left just a little bit. So this calls for a quarter cup of soap. Now you'll find recipes that are different measurements, and I'm just going by the one one that's the smallest. I thought he gave me a a. Um, three gallon pump. He probably thought I couldn't use it. And my salt and my vinegar is stirred up now. This is gonna make it suds up when I pump it. So I'm gonna put that in there. But I really don't wanna stir it or anything, I don't think. See if I can get the rest of this in here. I was just afraid if I stirred it or anything, it's gonna soak up more than it is. Y'all, I didn't even know how to put, take the lid off this thing, so you had to show me. So, there's our stuff. So, um, let's see if we can do this and let's see if it works. If it don't, I'm gonna tell you right up front. All right, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit and then I'll, I'll get close-ups for you where you can see it. Uh, and, and see what I'm doing. So there's a lot in this rock. He's wanting me to go out there and do it around the workshop. I want to do it in this rock. So he is doing, he is torching uh, fire ant hills with, a, you know, a fire torch. I don't know what you call it, but that's what he's doing. So I'm gonna get, get y'all down here where you can see what I'm doing. And then you're supposed to have two full sunny days, if not more. Uh, no rain when you do this. So it's a beautiful day. It's probably 80 degrees out here. And um, so I'm gonna do this and then uh, We'll see you in a couple of days All right, so I'm just gonna show you some of these Little weeds that are popping up and I'm gonna get some of them. So they're popping up in my In my rock and I don't want that. So I want to test drive this this little landscaping area right here before I go to the trouble of doing a whole bunch. But anyway, we'll see. Sweet Hunter's coming. He's gonna show me how. It's gonna make suds, so beware. I dissolved the salt and then added the soap. So let me get a close up of you doing this. So these are the ones I'm gonna show y'all when we come back. So you're just spraying them real good. I know you gotta do it extra, extra.
Smells like vinegar. Okay, I can do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I knew how to do that. See if this works. If it don't, I guess we'll go back to the bad stuff. So he's wanting me to come and do around his workshop. I really wanted to do all this rock first, but I'll go do that real quick for him. So I'm about through with the workshop. I hope this works because it will, it will be, it, it's not only, uh, save, it'll save money, but it's healthier for you. Salt, vinegar, and what else is it? Oh, soap. So this is bed. This bed right here was about to fall apart and he put me a uh, brace right there. I'm gonna dig this out and that's gonna be my tomato sauce garden. Um, of course, most of the tomatoes will be in my big garden, but this will be my tomato sauce garden. It'll have herbs and tomatoes and things like that in it. So I hope this works. We'll see. I know mosquitoes are out here. They're trying to get me. I killed one of this stuff, or it dumbfounded it one. I mean, it stunted it. Lord, these tomatoes are everywhere. If this don't work, I'm gonna get the push more out here. I'm gonna go see if I got some more vinegar, make some more up. I don't know if I do or not. He's wanting me to do the clothesline. And I didn't have, but I order some and I'll do it again on a, another day. But I wanted to show you a few of my flowers. And make sure and watch to the end of this video and you'll see if the weed killer worked.
So I'm, so I'm out here working and Sweet Hunter says, uh, you want to go eat somewhere? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> we cooked all weekend, so we're tired. And we're both working and it's 80 degrees. And so he's getting the Corvette out and we're going to take it for a ride and go eat some Mexican or something. I'm taking my sweater because I freeze. <laughs> Not in the Corvette, but in the restaurant. Well, y'all, it works, I'm telling you. So, I don't know if it'll be cheaper than the weed killer you buy, but I know it's a lot safer. Salt, vinegar, and soap. I mean, that's gotta be safer. So around my garden in the walkways, that's what I'm gonna do, is this weed killer. I'm real I'm excited. Let me... So here it is about maybe three hours into it. I mean, it's dead. It is just dead. Let me show you. Here, there was a bunch on the edges and I don't see any. I think they're gone. And I did this real good. There's one right there. Don't know if it's gonna go away or not. So here's that big one I showed you that had the dandelion on it. It's dead. Dead. Can y'all see that? Dead. I'm very excited. This one's dead. See it? I mean, there's no way that's coming back to life tomorrow. So it didn't even take two days. It's dead. That wow. one, it's like shriveled up. It's gone. Those are shriveled up and welded. I'm just so impressed. Okay, look at this. This is briars. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? It's just wielded up. I'm impressed. So I just wanted to show y'all the update that same day very same day and we're already seeing uh progress so i'm excited i'm gonna work on my gardens probably tomorrow and then somebody said it's gonna rain on wednesday let me get over here in the shade i'll put the recipe in the description box but uh sweet hunter seems to think it's the salt that does it i don't know i know that when i mix uh vinegar and baking soda it's the greatest cleaner there is like for my oven or sinks or anything and um, of course I always try anything I do on here at your own risk and you make the decision whether you're going to try it for me this works out so good because I will not spray that commercial weed killer I just will not like I say they say it causes cancer and I've already been there and done that don't want that again so I don't want to take any chances I know everything does. I know before anybody tells me, but I'm not taking any chances. I am tickled pink about this uh, weed killer. I'm just tickled pink. So it'll be safer for Sweet Hunter, be safer for me when I do it. Like I told him, I'm not doing the other one. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. It's a great thing to learn. I love learning new skills. There goes Sweet Hunter on the other lawnmower. I just got demo in the yard too. I love to learn new skills and we're talking about preparing. So, I mean, I always have vinegar, salt, and uh, soap, and you get your weed killer. The next thing we're gonna learn, Sweet Hunter wants to learn it, is we tried a couple of ant killers, but they didn't work. So we've got lots of ant hills, so we're gonna try to do that. Before I go, let's look one more time at my favorite flower. There's my sunflowers that are fixing to bloom, but it's the California giant zinnias in my garden they are gorgeous i want to take this opportunity to say thank you for all the prayers uh, this video was pre-recorded before my injury and i appreciate all the prayers thank you so y'all we didn't cook any of this video but we sure did get a lot done thank y'all for watching i appreciate it so much y'all go cook something